Hey guys, Rick for Sonus here, back in our video. So, in this video, we're gonna make a bass house drop. Like one of the biggest bass house artists, Martin Horger. Like he did in tracks as these. Dimension! Side of the world. So recently, we got a few suggestions on the channel to make a drop in his style. So I did some more research on the artist and I found this studio session. So what really inspired me to make this drop was this part of the video. Extra classic dance music vibes. I usually use the rave generator <laughs> and it has those kind of sounds in it. And I put it in the background to give those classic vibes. Actually, a rave generator is a free plugin, so I decided to download it and to test it out. So I just copied the same preset as you can see in the video. Sounding like this. It's that typical house vibe, so... Just drop it in at the, at the D minor. Sounding like this. So now we're gonna mix it. First I color the low end. Push it to the side end of the mix. Reverb and delay to push it more in the back end of the mix. And of course the side chain. So then I decided to drop it here and then at focus tap it every two bars. So that was the inspiration for this bass kind of drop. So now we're gonna dive to the drums. These drums are kind of a combination of bass house oriented sounds but with a tag house groove so first of all I started off with this 808 kick sounding like this then I decided to add the opener to it as well by the way all the samples and presets I, I'll be using in this video are coming from the bass house for your 7 pack it's linked down below so if you want to make bass house yourself make sure to check it out together sounding like this just a really dope bounce and with a double kick at the end so then I added these claps to it with this higher one and this more mid kind of clap and then I also made sure to remove the clap from the first two bars so the drop has more impact when it drops sound like this which already is kind of dope but it really misses the cat but it really misses the bass house roof so I added this closed head to it sounding like this That just plays it before the open head and after. Quantize it to get it slightly off the groove. Then I added a snare drum to it as well. Place it right here and quantize it as well. I removed the first two bars as well. So the last thing I want to add to it is just these chant loops. Sounding like this. So I just cut them so they hit at every open head. That's it for the drums. All together, they sound like this. So now we're gonna dive in the bass line. It's gonna be a really aggressive 808 kind of bass. So I got this new serum loaded up. Let's pick a preset from the bass house pack. We'll be using this sound, so let's work on a MIDI. We are working in D minor, but we're gonna start off. But we're gonna start off on the third note of the scale and then go down to the root. Then up to the dissonant note. So this will be the main this will be the main riff duplicated. I make a little variation for the second part, going down to the seventh note of the scale, duplicate it again, and just tweak it a little bit, just like this. So now we're gonna mix it. First, we're gonna add some more distortion. Then we're gonna add an EQ to it to boost the mid frequencies and of course a big side chain for the, to make room for the kick so together with the kick it sounds like this so 
really dope, aggressive vibe. So that's it for the bass. Now I wanna add some more lead variations to it. First I wanna add a really aggressive lead at the start of the drop, so... Let's make a preset for the pack as well. We'll be using this one. And a really long note, almost two bars. Add distortion. Remove the low end. Add the reverb. Relay. And sidechain. Then we're gonna duplicate it. And pick another preset for the second part of the drop. We'll be using this one. It's gonna be a little bit shorter as well. For the same mixing. Then I duplicate it again. With a distortion reverb and delay. And I added this preset to it. It's just a sine wave FM. So, so the first step gonna be here. And then the second part is going to be a little bit more complicated, like this. Just a small fill. To make the track more interesting, so I just added in another synth element. It's a really short one. Just that lead... It. Just this lead sound. Like this. And I'll make a macro. So let it build up during the drop to add some more energy to it. So that's it for all the elements of the Martin Horger style drop. I think it turned out really dope. It's a really cool crossover between bass and tag house. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Besides that, if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos. Jumping like James on the court.